Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead Universe. This one's going to be doing another video for Dead City Season 2. We're going to talk about some ideas that are going around for Season 2 and some different scenarios that we could see for the second season and how to make it special like the other spinoffs. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing another video today, this one's going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead, Dead City, and in today's video we're going to be doing another video leading into Season 2, very excited to get into Season 2 of Dead City, obviously we now know the filming for this season is going to be happening in March, um, and it's not going to be in New York, so it's going to be a little bit different, but... Very excited to see that go down. Very excited to see filming go down for this show. But now I want to talk about some of the things that are going to make this season unique and special and different from the other spinoffs. Because one of the biggest you know things about Dead City that I've seen, and I've seen this a lot in the Walking Dead fandom, unfortunately, is that Dead City, if there's one Walking Dead show from these three that suffers the most, um, it's definitely this show. Definitely. Because pretty much everybody enjoyed The Walking Dead, Daryl. Dixon. Pretty much everybody enjoyed the France show. Everybody enjoyed the uniqueness. Everybody enjoyed, you know, the visuals of the show. Pretty much everything about it, you know? I've seen a few people that don't like the Daryl show, but for the most part, a lot of people do. And it's, you know, relatively enjoyed by the fans. And what makes that show so special is the location, right? Being in France, seeing different types of walkers, seeing, you know, the breakout of, you know, uh, France and stuff like that. It's it's definitely a very unique show. It definitely has its own feel to it. I think that's why people are so attached to that show already. Um, and then obviously the ones who live, we don't even need to see it to know what makes that show special. That is finally the return of Rick and Michonne. So, so that show already, I mean, regardless of what they do, that will be a show that people are immediately attached to, pretty much, right? But with Dead City, I know a lot of people have said in the past, not everybody, but a lot of people have said, eh, the show's just kind of mid so far. It's just kind of Maggie and Negan fighting, and you know, you got the odd villain here and there, but it just feels like kind of a rinse and repeat. It just kind of feels like a, you know, whatever type of show or whatever, something that I can just kind of binge when the whole, th the whole thing releases or something, you know? I've heard a lot of people say that. So, what would make Dead City Season 2 like, you have to watch it. Like, you must watch it. It's just, it's so damn good. It's so damn cool. It's so unique. It's so out there. It's so different. What would make that the case? Now, for me, I'm already invested in Dead City. I think the show is fantastic. I don't understand what people are saying when they say it's a mid-show. I really don't. Um, I think it's unique with New York. I think it's very exciting with the Croat and, you know, Armstrong and, you know, everything else with the Barazi. I think it's a fantastic show. But not everybody thinks so. So what could make this season, season two, better than one for people? What could make this show more unique and more special for people? What could make that more, you know, gripping? Now, in my opinion, I think one of the biggest things that people want to see, and I, I've talked about it many, many times before, and I think it would honestly be an ideal, you know, uh, scenario, is getting to see Dwight and Sherry join this show. I, I think that immediately people will be like, what in the frick? Like, you know, because here's the thing, man. We never got a chance to see Dwight interact with Negan post the time skip, right? Because he got kicked out. In the comics, we saw a whole bunch of interactions between Negan and Dwight. We saw a whole bunch of, you know talks between them but in the show they did the spinoffs they sent Dwight to fear Negan was in Walking Dead for the end but Dwight wasn't so they never got a chance to interact and now Negan is running New York City and Dwight and Sherry are going back to the sanctuary now fast forward about five years later six years later in the timeline um because obviously Dead City is ahead a lot from where fear ended is that, do we think that Dwight and Sherry are still at the Sanctuary now, where, where Season 2 starts? And I'm telling you right now, it would be, in my opinion, the greatest writing decision ever if Negan, Croat, and the Barazi are running things in New York, they want to, you know, after a while, they want to go back and check on the Sanctuary and see maybe if they can salvage anything of it or something. Maybe Croat has an idea, or maybe they're just going, you know, back down that location for some supplies, maybe regroup, stuff like that, and they run into the Sanctuary. And honestly, I think it would be so good, I think it would be so incredible to have Negan see the Sanctuary, and you actually establish this thing in Season 2 as like, 
oh my god, like, this thing's actually built the frig up again, like, Dwight and Sherry actually fixed this place up, you know, um, and what Negan would think of that, you know, and Dwight could rub it in his face, like, yeah, guess what, I made this place look better than ever, even when you were running it, you know, <laughs> like, I think that would be so good, and here's the thing, Dwight and Sherry, they definitely feel like they're at a place in their life where they wouldn't just kill Negan, they, they kind of feel like they're at a place right now where they're trying to make things better, so I don't necessarily see Negan just being killed. Not to mention, if he shows up with the Barazi and you get a bit of a standoff, then, you know, obviously they're not going to be able to just kill Negan. So I think that right there is the number one thing that would make season two, like, oh my dear God, like, I got to see that. Like, Dwight interact with Negan, Sherry seeing Negan after all this time, like, that would be pretty damn insane, right? Like, that would be a pretty freaking insane reunion. Um, and I think it would be incredible. Now, um, that's one of them. Now, another thing I know that would make this show a lot more tolerable for people and a, a thing that would make this show a lot more, you know, enjoyable is if Maggie and Negan stop fighting. And I do agree with that. I think season one, like I said, I enjoy their banter back and forth because it makes sense. Season two, though, I do agree they gotta, they gotta wrap it up. They gotta, you know, put the conflict to rest. Um, this show can't be about these two bickering for four to five seasons, you know? They gotta find different storylines. They gotta find different things to do. I do agree with that. I think that we will see that conflict be resolved. I think that's what they're setting up. I more so think Herschel is gonna be the one that maybe is, you know, kind of a problem for Negan. You know, I, I don't know if they'll, they'll go that route, but I think that would be really interesting. Um, now, New York is a very unique setting. That, I think, is all going to be very good. Hopefully, Dama will be turned up as well, too. I'm expecting a lot from her. Croat, of course, being Croat. That'll be awesome. Um, Armstrong, you know, helping out with the cause, I think, would be good. You know, Armstrong coming back and helping Maggie and doing all this stuff. I think that would definitely help. And I think the one other thing that would make this season really, really unique if they would actually, you know, go through with it is giving us Negan's family back. I think bringing Negan's family back into the fold definitely needs to happen in some way, shape, or form. I honestly didn't think that they would bring Annie back, and part of me still kind of doesn't know if they will, but I think it would actually really add to everything going on if they found out that Negan was running things in New York and, you know, doing the things that he's doing and being forced to do the things that he's up to. I mean, I think that would be absolutely insane. Absolutely. And the final thing I think that would make this season really special, and this is the only other one that I would say uh, is, is an option, you know, at least in terms of right now. And I've heard a lot of people discuss this one. Definitely, this one's very unlikely. It's definitely a very hard one to do, but I think it would be really cool if they did it, is Maggie hallucinates Glenn. I, I think that definitely should be something that they do in this show. I don't know if Steven Yun is going to have the time to do it because he is very busy. He did beef on Netflix this past year. He's doing many seasons of Invincible back-to-back -back from what I've heard. Season 2 and 3 are filming back-to-back. And he's doing a whole bunch of other shows. So I don't know if they would be able to actually get him. Maybe it's, you know, too late at this point. But I think that'd be really cool for his character. And to be honest, I think one of the ways that you could settle the beef between Negan and Maggie is Glenn being the one to tell her, you gotta let this go. You know what I mean? I think that'd be the only way that you could actually make Maggie listen at this point. Because Maggie is just so tunnel vision. She's just like, just one lane type of thing. So I think Glenn coming in there and giving her that advice and even telling her like, look, this is ridiculous. Like, you know, you have our, our son. You know, I'm grateful every day that you're raising him, but you gotta, you, you gotta put this thing to rest. You know, you can't bring me back, right? And it actually, it would get pretty heated too you know he'd say like you can't bring me back that's you know that's not something I will see you in the afterlife one day you know he could even say that to her but you got to focus on right now you got to focus on Herschel and right now Negan's not a problem for you he's not you know you gotta you gotta settle this stuff you know I think Glenn going you know in Maggie's head like that in a hallucination type of sequence, I think would just be absolutely phenomenal. I would love it. I think that would be honestly a, a great emotional moment for the fans. I think it would really pull at the heartstrings. It would help Maggie's character a lot. And I think it would be amazing. Re it really would. So things that, in my opinion, could make season two of Dead City more special for the fans, I think would be Dwight and Sherry. They gotta do that. I think that would be a complete missed opportunity if they don't. 
I think they also got to do um, a Glenn hallucination, I think would really help. Ending the conflict between Negan and Maggie, bringing back Negan's family, I think is another really big one. And I think for the most part, you'd be good at that point. I think season two would be um, on fire. I really do. Uh, in addition to the Barazi War and Croat and all that stuff, I think you'd be on to some really cool stuff. So I think that right there could definitely make season two better than one, which in my opinion, one's great. So if they make it even better, then, you know, there you go. But there you go. That's some of the things I think could make season two of Dead City special. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think about all that stuff? How likely is some of this stuff for you and your point of view? Let me know. And of course, if you knew the channel and you enjoy videos like this, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos of The Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me at Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys very soon for more videos of The Walking Dead universe. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.